Back by popular demand, we have the QB room over here at the Draft Network, man, where we review, we go through, we break down the film. Yes, film sessions are back with the Draft Network of all the young quarterbacks and the college quarterbacks. So we're today, we are breaking down Desmond Ritter. Why are we breaking down Desmond Ritter? Because he's one of those quarterbacks that's fighting off this quarterback class from the 2024 NFL Draft that has Caleb Williams and Drake May. And Desmond Ritter is coming off his best performance thus far in his NFL career, accounting for two touchdowns, 329 yards, one pass and one rushing so we're going to get into this film and talk about why we think desmond ritter can hold off this 2024 nfl draft class if you're new here subscribe to the channel like the video comment right for the algorithm hopefully what we want to do is earn all of that we want to earn your like earn your comment earn your subscription and also earn you hitting the bell notification all right so stay tuned let us know how we how you feel at the end but like he said desmond ritter Trying to hold off Caleb Williams, Drake May, Michael Penix Jr. He's trying to keep those guys off. What does the tell the film tell us? Let's jump into it. All right, Keith. Th this is one, you know, you got high red zone here. And this is one, like they 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 got the ball to Kyle Pitts a good bit in this game. And it was happy to see, right? So it's zone coverage and, and just the ability, Keith, in my opinion, to get that ball out. And we knew that that Desmond Ritter coming into the draft had a strong arm right we knew he had a good arm on him and it was good to see a lot of the kind of drive throws in this matchup yeah i agree so what i noticed was the motion by kyle pitts and you see the single high safety right so the motion is to be able to tell us this single high safety we know is probably the cover one or cover three when you're watching the film they motion there is no no nobody that singularly follows him right in that situation so now desmond ritter is thinking zone zone he's thinking zone he knows that it's out outside receivers running a vertical route that's kind of the clear out route, right? This play was designed to get the ball to Kyle Pitts. And then you see Kyle Pitts kind of run that kind of corner, that corner route. And he, I, I like what Desmond Ritter did from an anticipation anticipation perspective, right? He really took his time and then he was like, okay, I'm gonna diagnose this and then let the football rip. So this was a big time throw for me. No, and, and can you look at the footwork, right? Well, we always use the term quiet and loud feet in the pocket. To me, yep. his feet were quiet here. Very decisive movements. Nice little hitch, get the ball out. And that's just good work, man. In rhythm, and it's, it shows confidence as well from the pocket. I agree 100%. Now, Keith, this is the play here. I love this. I love the design. It's not a pass, but it's the, it's the rushing touchdown. You're going to show inside zone with the jet motion. You're going to look at that's Matt Collins is like the H-back off ball tight end, and he's going to come as a slice blocker. He's going to lead for Desmond Ritter. This is a really fun design for uh, for a QB keeper. Shout out to Arthur Smith, man. This is, this is a good play here that allows Desmond Ritter to get to the corner pylon and score in the low red zone. Yeah, and DP, this this highlighted when you're talking about drafting a quarterback, having a plan for him, right, and using his assets. And early on, we've seen – so this is what the, the second throw that we've kind of – well, second play that we've kind of diagnosed. We've seen a big-time throw to Kyle Pitts, and then now we're seeing Desmond Ritter being able to run the football. We both compared this guy to the likes of your Ryan Tannehill's, your Marcus Mariota's, right, because of the athleticism. And then now you've seen Arthur Smith. Hey, I'm going to get you a big-time throw, and then now I'm going to get your legs going and get you really – comfortable in this football game and if you ask me dp i think this helps set the tone for desmond riddle from a confidence perspective 100 and a great ball fake because it faked out the all 22 angle you know what i'm saying the camera didn't know where the ball was so that's when a great that ball happens, fake. it was a good ball fake when you fake out the exactly. camera man you have done your job you 100 you know what i mean so that, that just a, a good job of, of utilizing the assets so you got and keith this looks like a combo coverage here because you're going to have man to man Right, and then everyone else drops off in zone, and you're gonna have it's a basically like a two, it's a three man route. You're gonna have a corner route by I think Drake London, Matt Collins on the end breaker, and this is again you got a defender kind of trying to pair or veer off of one route, then hearing to -to -to back towards the crosser, but the confidence again to drive this throw right, those middle of the field throws, Keith. I really appreciated this throw by Desmond Ritter. DP, we're going to start something on, on this QB series calling in your bag, right? And in your bag is mm -hmm. when the quarterback is in his bag making throws. And the reason I say this is this. If you can rewind it just a little bit, you see that when he comes out of that play action, right, he locates the defenders. The defender is there, but his back is turned, right? You only make that throw, DP, when you're confident as a quarterback, right? And you know what you're doing. That's the Aaron Rodgers level throws, right? That's the Drew Brees. That's the Peyton Manning. That's the Tom Brady's is that when the defender is there, 
I'm not worried about it because he's not looking at the football. So that was another, when I say, when I was going through the film DP initially, I say, oh, this his confidence is up, right? Desmond Ritter is, is out there playing confident football. And that's a, that's a big thing too, Keith, because when you think about these quarterbacks, right, <clears throat> a big part of it, Keith, when we talk about uh, identifying and processing, realizing, like you said, 39, Henry Toto is back is to you. So he can't see the football deliver yep. a dime for your uh for your receiver. Now, this play here, Keith, I put this in. This, I think, is John New Smith. And this play, Keith, is a drop. But you see the anticipation. You yep. got to catch this. Your quarterback put it on you, man. Your quarterback put the ball between the numbers. And you know what I'm saying? You motion them across the field in breaker right, right where it needs to be away from the defender, pulling him away from his man-to-man -man defender, but also away from the middle of the field defender, which is Henry Toto, outstretched hand. It's right there. This this is green grass to run, Keith. You got to bring us in. Yeah, DP, and, and this is what I like. You're talking about the quarterback because I, I watched this play earlier also. And two things, you know that the um, the Houston Texans, they appear to be in cover one, right? It looks like there's a man, there's a there's a lurk guy, then there's a there's a high robber, right? And he knows that that linebacker is kind of that, that lurk player. And so what you have to do is you have to keep him still, right? Because you know that he's playing man, so you have to kind of guide the football and lead the football across the middle. But you have to keep that linebacker still. And I, I like that you illustrated that right there. And that's what he does. He kind of keeps the linebacker still. And then I'm going to throw that thing ahead, right, ahead of the wide receiver and put it on the money. And I agree. You got to come up with that play, right? You just simply have to come up with that play. But that was great. That was great design, first of all. And then that was great execution by Desmond Ritter. Once again, looking comfortable in the pocket. And one thing I've noticed in this game, too, Keith, was the – Talking about play design, uh, Arthur Smith giving him like going to more two to three man routes at times out mm -hmm. of these run formations. And we're going to see again here zone coverage. You know what I mean? You got the flat, you know, flat uh, swing for the running back, Tyler Algier. You got a, a, a nice curl, uh, deep hitch from, I think, I believe that's Drake London. And then a fullback out the gate and just a on money throw by Desmond Ritter, Keith. And it's, again, just getting him into a rhythm, right? Getting him into a rhythm. Like, you don't have to go five wide to throw the ball effectively. Nah, DP, th this is what I kind of took from this. I, I That's almost a goal line formation in the middle of the field, right? You're talking about mm -hmm. on the on your 10-yard line, but you have two running backs and you have two tight ends, right? So you're sitting in 22 personnel. And what it is is this. You're talking about the play action, right? It's not, not necessarily book, but play action. That fullback almost, he, he leaks out to the flat. How many times have we seen when you're talking about on a three-yard line where you're going in, right, that fullback come open because of the linebacker don't want, doesn't want to touch him? But this time you see the, the fullback, he carries that thing upfield. So when I watched, I'm like, Arthur Smith, he's doing some creative run things in the sense of the fact that that's a goal line package on almost for a lot of teams in the middle of the field or at your 10 yard line. And then he's able to hit the fullback. And that was once again, DP, like we talked about, you watch that. That's a great throw by Desmond Ritter, right? Being able mm -hmm. to put that thing in between the corner and then the safety that's sitting over the top. And then also being able to trust that, right? Because you used to, when you throw a net to that wide receiver, you want that to be a, a, a five, a 10 or 15 or 88. That's the number 40 DP. So you're not <laughs> sure that they're going to catch that ball 30, 40 yards down the field, right? But he, he lets it rip. He throws it with confidence, and it was a big-time completion. And what I love about it too, Keith, is that this is an explosive play. This is an over, what, this is about a 20-yard play, yep. you know, air yards or so, to the fullback. To an the fullback. explosive passing play <laughs> down the field, a zone beater of sort as well, beats the zone with the, with the route concepts, right? Got some switching and different things like that pulling guys in different areas. Shout out to, to Arthur Smith as a play design and play caller, but an explosive play down the field in a passing game, not a screen, an explosive throwing play to your fullback. Listen, I feel like I'm watching. This is back in the 85 right now. This is back <laughs> close to the 85 bears. If we're talking, you know, shout out to Arthur Smith, man. I like what I've seen. Just this, this game, he was in, like you talk about being in the bag. I think as a play caller and designer, Arthur Smith was in his bag. Yep, I agree 100%. So right so we now, got, we, go ahead. We got uh, what, Kyle Pitts in motion here? Yeah, we got Kyle Pitts in motion. Then we have a couple linebackers mugging the line of scrimmage, right? So you, you're getting one of two things, right? All those linebackers are coming, and you're going to throw hot, or you're trying to just simply locate who is gonna, who's going to drop under, right? Because if you they want you to check hot, and then potentially a linebacker drops under that, and then they're able to pick the ball off. That's what the defense is thinking from their perspective. It's potentially show you something and take away, 
or just go ahead and all out blitz you and then we're going to come up and stop the play because i believe it's third and eight right so you know desmond mm -hmm. ritter that's the two thoughts that you should be having going through your mind 100 you have to figure out who is who is on the way who is the hot defender and what is the coverage right because you got single high in the top in the middle of the field right middle field close with jalen petrie at the top by himself and everybody else looks like they're in man to man so it's either going to be cover three and they're going to press bail or it's going to be man to man single high and one of these linebackers are going to be in man to man coverage and that's what it, that's what it ended up turning out to be with a corner route of sort to kyle pitts and again just another on time just drive throw, just driving the football, right? And he's got pressure in his face too, Keith. Yeah, and, and this was the play when we talked about DP previous recording, right? We talked about they ran similar concepts two, three times to Kyle Pitts, right? And that's what you're starting to see, right? The, that kind of corner, you know what I'm saying? Like speed out type of situation to Kyle Pitts. It's, hey, knowing that we have, especially against the Texans, because going through the film, the Texans, they ran a lot of cover one and it ran a lot of cover three, right? So we're going to have, once again, we're going to have the outside receiver. He's going to run that cornerback off, right? And then we're just going to throw to the vacant spot. And that's exactly what the Atlanta Falcons did. I just like the fact, DP, when you're talking about a young quarterback, He's seen it early, right? And we talked yes. about what does the line of scrimmage look like. He was able to kind of decipher through that. But then he also know he was going, going to hit, right? And then look at this. Watch how he stands in there. I want you to let the play go and then watch how he stands in there because he says, hey, if I stand tall and deliver this football, we have a, yet another explosive play. He's getting pressure, right? He's like, I got to stand in there. I have to make this one. And rips it. Big time through. Yep. Rips. And I, what I love too, Keith, I always talk about this with young quarterbacks, often like play callers, you got to do a good job of giving them the answer key before the test. Right. Yep. So the we see the pre-snap motion from Kyle Pitts. What is that signifying to him? Well, nobody's following him. He, 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 he motions halfway and he returns. No one moves with him. Right. Keith. So what does that say? It's either going to be zone or they're blitz. And then you see, you see, Jim, uh, you know, Jimmy Ward, I think that's Jimmy Ward number one, Henry Toto hover around the line of scrimmage. And then you see the check, right? The, the, the heads are, okay, pointing out Henry Toto to his offensive line. It's typically the mic, and he drops back. And like you said, the pocket does collapse in his face. And he just rips it and delivers a strike to, to Kyle Pitts. And, 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 and this is good quarterback play, man. Just good quarterback play, right? You want to see, all right, nobody's going to move with them. And stuff like that. Okay, so oh, they're, they're trying to they're coming after me. They're, they're gonna they're gonna be hot. All right, cool. And and and, and I would say this, Keith, if it wasn't Henry Toto to in man to man from where his alignment was, it might have fooled him, right? Because mm -hmm. it looks like zone because nobody motion with with with, with Kyle Pitts. But Henry Toto to has got a long way to go, and it's just a good job identifying that as a quarterback. I agree, one hundred percent. So you got Bijan in motion. It's a double, almost like a double corner against zone. And again, same same thing. Just delivering it to your playmaker with the with the safety, right? I love the design in a sense because the way in the way that, that Drake Drake London runs it, Keith, like he attacks, gets that D beat that corner to speed turn and make him think, okay, he, that ball's coming to me. Safety's got to stay over the top of Drake London because you got to stay as deep as the deepest receiver, which then opens up the void for Kyle Pitts. Yeah, DP, and, and we talk about this. And when, you, when you're playing zone defense, right, and you're a quarterback and you're trying to defeat a zone defense, so much of that is anticipation and accuracy, right? And this is the, the fourth throw since we've seen, uh, since we've been, you know, doing the film session that we've seen him – that little area right there, right? Like that would kind of, we will call it the whole shot in cover two. But what you see that Atlanta Falcons did, they just consistently ran off that number one corner, right? That outside corner. And mm -hmm. then just simply let Kyle Pitts fall into that hole right there. That in cover two, we would call them whole shots. But that's a, that's a, that's a whole shot against would we'll probably cover three once again, right? And I just, I, I appreciated Desmond Ritter's ability just to kind of, you know, you talk about throwing over the linebacker and before the defensive back, right? Just kind of fitting it mm -hmm. right in that, that sweet spot. And he was able to consistently do that. And you honestly say this, that's the reason why the Atlanta Falcons won the game, right? It was it was these throws that we're going through right now, being able to fit the ball 15, 20 yards down the field into those pockets. And it's a good job because he 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 hitches. He he kind of almost double pumps. You know what I mean? Understanding that my guy is not out of the break yet, and you mm -hmm. don't want to throw it a little too early. He doesn't get there. So it was, it was just a good job by, by Desmond Ritter overall. 
um, and all around. This young man played a very good game, Keith. And you talk about fighting off Caleb Williams, Drake May, Michael Penix, Bo Nix, all these talented quarterbacks that's coming into this 2024 um, NFL draft. Like, to be able to do that, you got to play good football, you know? Yeah, no, I agree. And I, I so this formation right here told me a lot, DP, because now we've seen a lot right from the beginning of this, this film session. It's been a lot of two tight ends. It's been play action, right? It's been getting Desmond Ritter on the run, right? It's, everything has been heavy run. But when you come out there and then now you're in empty, right? And you have trips to the top and kind of like a bunch type of situation. And you had two at the bottom, two at the bottom. The defense knows you're passing the football, right? So mm -hmm. linebackers are not worrying about taking their re-step forward. So now you have to know exactly what's going on. You have that bunch set, right? And, and every team defensively, they play that different, right? Like sometimes they'll zone it off. Some of them call it box. They'll box it off, right? And you have to kind of decipher that. But it's also still an element of quick game based off of what they're running. And this is almost just kind of like spacing, right, with that Atlanta Falcons is dead so you go let the play run yeah it's, it's typically you know four on three right but the in the timing on the end breaker right soon as Kyle Pitts cleared from behind of Henry Toto this ball is on Kyle Pitts quickly and you like that the quick decisiveness the quick understanding and boom right there right there Keith right on the money right right soon as he clears him and it's here the and it's anticipation too Keith anticipatory throws you want to run zone on me that's fine we're going we're going to manipulate you with space and he's look at this pause it. he's winding up to let this ball go before Kyle Pitts even gets behind Henry Toto and not only that what did we talk about again DP at the very beginning with the, the pass right past Henry Toto is what is holding Toto in place right you want him to make him think that hey you're reading this right i am going that way with the football knowing all alone that i'm i'm going to throw it into that empty or that vacant spot that's right behind you, right? So he did a good job. And we always say, what when you want to know what a quarterback is looking, especially watching all 22, look at the back of his helmet, right? The back of the helmet is going to tell you exactly where he's going with it from the end zone angle. And he was able to just to kind of hold to a tool in place. And then he's also holding DP because not only that, right? We watched, um, you know, we watched the Monday Night Football game with the Packers and the Raiders, right? Those, you know, those other defenders that creep into the play, especially on those kind of uh, short passing games. Man, if you, if you stare that thing down, Jimmy Ward, right? Like he he he's he, he's sliding over there, and why you held Toe Toe in place, or is that Jalen Pitcher? I think it's Toe Toe. That might that be Jalen Jalen King. I think yeah, that's Ward. I think that's Ward. Ward. Yeah, there's Jimmy Reed and Petrie, right? They're able to kind of break on that a little bit more because they're seeing where you're going. That's possible pass deflection, and we mm -hmm. know what tip players lead the interceptions. And I'm gonna tell you, Keith, I the, the why another reason why I love this too, real quick, because they almost got him on almost the exact same type of trap coverage where you how we see Jimmy Ward dropping on the hash and then Petrie yeah. comes across the screen across the field they um, they ran a similar coverage like that and almost got an interception off of him earlier in this game so let's see we got a couple couple more throws another kind of heavy eye formation and this is the go ball this is the go ball here to um to, to Drake London. And this might be his best throw to me, Keith. I think this might be the last play uh, in general, but I think this was his best throw, right? You got, and this has been zone, it's zone, right? It, it's, 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 cover, you know, deep thirds by, yeah. I think that's Nelson. And just a good job by, by, by London kind of slow rolling it, slow playing it. But listen, you're 6'5, 220, 225. Like you got to box this guy out. But I love the fact that Desmond Ritter gave his guy a chance, right? Is a point, you know, when you think about being a point guard as a quarterback, just like on the basketball on the basketball court, what, what, what do you do? You got your, your big guy with a mouse in the house, you throw that alley oop, you know what I mean? You you let him go oop it, and, and he does a good job of that, trusting his guy to go make a play. Hey, I agree, and, and this is the thing, right? When the and we we like to break this down, is it obviously the draft network, right? And we say what everything starts with the draft, right? And so, mm -hmm. the Atlanta Falcons, the past couple of drafts, right? They went Drake London, they went Kyle Pitts, you went these big bodied wide receivers. Now, the thing is, this how Desmond Ritter, how do you get them involved, right? They're not elite separated, so if you're looking for these guys to run away from people, that's not what it is. But we've seen is this what if, if they're like pitchers, right? The MLB. Put it high and away, right? Put it, put it, yes. put it, put it low and inside, right? Let them use their frames. Let them use their big bodies uh, being 6'5 and 6'4 and 6'6, six, six, right? Going against these 5'10, five, 5'11 five, corners. Let them win that matchup, right? Put the, like we say, go get the rebound, go put it up there. And you don't have to just throw the alley oops just 
in the end zone, right in the red zone. You can do it from your own 25 yard line and let it be an explosive play. 100%. And we talked about it earlier, Keith, quiet feet in the pocket, right? Decisive feet in the pocket. There's no, um, no wasted movement and motion. It's just real decisive, quiet. And then the ball placement on the back shoulder fade. And that's good work. That's just good stuff, man. Get let your big let your big body receiver be the big body receiver. Simple as that. It's just sometimes, Keith, we try to make football so complicated, and it's not. No, it's not. It shouldn't be. <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> it's just that's, not. That's just simply one on one. We drafted you top ten. Go make a play, young man. Go make a play. hundred percent, a hundred percent, Keith. But guys, listen, guys, that's that that's the Desmond Ritter breakdown. You know what I'm saying, Keith? You said that every like. Everything for the NFL starts with the draft. The draft starts with the draft network, right? That's where it starts at, right? Before we get to Mobile, it starts here. So hopefully, guys, you really enjoyed this. You enjoyed this breakdown, our first episode of the QB Room here on the Draft Network YouTube channel. Listen, Damian Parson, Keith Sanchez, guys, hopefully we earned your like, earned your comment, right? Earned you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification, man, because I feel like we did good work today. Oh, yeah, we definitely did the good work, man. And we told you that the theme of this is what we're holding off the 2024 NFL draft class, man. But we're going to have those drafted quarterbacks here, too. We're going to talk Caleb Williams. We're going to talk Drake May, Michael Penix, Bo Nix, man, the top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL draft process, but also those guys that have to hold off those quarterbacks. So, man, y'all make sure to tap in each and every week, man. And like DP says, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Talk to us because we talk back. Listen, Damian Parson, Keith Sanchez here at the Draft Network. Guys, stay tapped in because the draft starts with the Draft Network.